Hello, possums. Dromus Smith here, and you can tell I'm in Kingdoms of Conquest because <laughs> luscious conquest reforged. This is the start of my nether portal room. It's definitely a work in progress. I think it's about the right shape and height, but uh, I'm not sure. But I can show you something that is the right shape and height. You remember this from last time. I've been doing a little more down here. This room is almost finished. Almost. I need to work out some form of lighting in the floor. I'm not quite sure what to do yet. But this is like the, the hub of my base. Everything's going to come off it. That is woven granite, carved woven granite on the floor. I quite like the pattern it's formed. And then we've got a stained glass ceiling and I really need to find some bamboo. I think there might be an enchanting room down there, I'm not sure. And there'll be something down there. There, it looks so much better bathed in morning light. But we might go up and I'll show you what this looks like from upstairs. Because I promised you that I would tell you what the story is behind my base. I haven't written out as much of it as I want, so I'll just give you a basic outline. I'm getting to a point where I'm going to be rereading The Lord of the Rings. I do it every few years. I'm feeling a bit like watching at least some of the films again. And I've been listening to analyses and people's reactions and I was thinking you know when the elves go to the west and all those places are left empty um, Rivendell and Lothlorien and the Grey Havens and all the rest of them what happens to them? Do they just fall into disrepair? Do other people come in and make use of the ruins? So I thought well that's what I'm going to build something sort of elvish that's been left behind something that belonged to some other folk that's been left behind and I'm coming in and fixing up, rebuilding, making use of, hiding away in it. So this is the top of that lovely hall and you can see where the dirt and the autumn leaves and everything have drifted down over the top of it and how all the earth has built up over this as the years have gone by. You know, that was a fully exposed building with a dome that's going to be part of a great tower. Um, and now it's all just getting buried and lost. And if we come over here, the entrance to all the buildings is somewhere down under there. Yes, Moo. So if we go back down again, where's my... here. So we'll go all the way back down the spiral staircase. Well, not all the way down, but we'll go down to that big entrance hall. Here we are. And that's where the entrance is going to be. And it's going to be probably like this but at that end. Oh, and I'm going to make private apartments off this side and another room off this side. So that's sort of where we're heading with this. But this, shush, this is going to be my storage room. It's coming along really nicely. So I thought what I might do, I've got half of this, well, I've got one wall worked out and I'm not sure what to do with the ceiling. So I thought we might go through the process of finishing off this second wall. So what I've basically got is three bays and they are lined at the back and the sides with oak planks. That's what these are. And then I've got a filler block top and bottom. That's spruce because my island's full of spruce. I've got spruce coming out my ears. And then I thought we might put this side together to look like that and then I'll work out what to do with the ceiling. So we need to come to, no, 
you need to come to my oak chest. I've got carved oak wood, which is made out of oak logs. I've got some vertical narrow oak wood plank stairs. I've got carved oak wood vertical slabs. Uh, some fancy corbels and some oak logs to make some other things. So we'll start with the carved oak wood. We've made I've made one pillar here. I'm going to come down and make another one here. So it starts out looking like that and then connected textures changes it quite substantially. And then I've got the vertical slabs. I'll just check I've got that. Yeah, I did have it set to zero. Back to layers again. And I don't put one there. But I do put... Oh, I need some more. Okay. To make some more, we need to put carved oak wood into the stone cutter and... We need to select carved oak wood vertical slabs. Will that be enough? I only need one at the front at the top, but I need three at the bottom. <sighs> Several short. Okay, let's do that again. <sighs> no, I still don't have an axe. one there and I've only got one left over that's pretty good okay next I need to put 18 oak logs in and we need to get 18 horizontally carved oak wood They're quite expensive really when you think about it okay let's put that along the top and we'll do the same here and we'll do the same here. There we go. Now we need to come up here and I need to put a torch in each of these spaces and fill the gap with a slab. And I'm just doing that so that there's some light at the top with the chest because I was having trouble seeing them. My one criticism of Conquest Reforged is it can get a little dark. I have got the Minecraft lighting set from moody to bright, which is helping. But still, a little bit of extra light goes a long way. And I'll just fill the roof back in. All right, next is these pillars here. They, believe it or not, are crafting tables. So I need, what, eight crafting tables, four eights, so 32. Okay, so there's our crafting tables. Now we come to the stone cutter again, put the crafting tables in, and look at all the options of things I can make out of crafting tables. How about that? We've got, what's that? Miscellaneous shelves, a wine rack, a cabinet, um, fancy bookshelf, fancy empty shelves. It's, <laughs> there's so much to choose from. What I want though is the fancy cabinets. I want eight of those. So you can come down now. There we go, look at that. Fancy cabinet crafting tables. Only I don't think I can use it. No, I can't use them as a crafting table anymore. They are now just decorative. So what I need now is some fancy corbels. I'll show you in a minute how we make those. These are expensive as well. So we put an oak log in. Scroll down. And four cobbles. There we are. So I've got 18 narrow, what is it? Vertical narrow oak wood plank stairs. 
which basically means I take some oak planks, I put them into the cut, stone cutter and get narrow vertical oak planks and then I make stairs out of those. So it's a two-step process. So I'm going to put those above each bay and now I need three horizontally carved oak stairs. Now they're a whole log all on their own as well. So I find the horizontally oak, horizontally carved oak wood, put them in and get horizontally carved oak wood stairs. So that's two sides now looking okay. I'm going to take a little while to stop and think about the ceiling and maybe work something out. What I want is for it not to be an echoey space. If you've got stone above and stone below and there's a certain amount of space between them it will echo. See if I come down here where there's the dirt, no more echo. But I don't want a dirt ceiling. So I'm going to have a think and a play and I'll see you shortly. And there we are, all done. Although I haven't worked out how to join that room to this room. I'll do a couple more rooms and then see how it all works out, but I'm quite happy with it. It looks nice, it doesn't echo, it's quite cosy. Yeah, that is birch tra carved tracery, I think. It's just made out of another birch log. That's carpet. Well, it's a rug block. If we have a look, you can see it's a whole block. So I don't need to put anything under it, which is a boon. And this is actual carpet because we've got, where are they? No. Yes. What is that? Glowstone. Got glowstone under it. Yep. Okay. What I want to do next is connect myself to the nether because I'm sick of swimming across to Callus's portal. It's handy that it's there, but it'd be nice to have something closer to home. So if we come down here, I have started this room. It is by no means finished, but I've made a start. So, oh, doors. Ah, I don't want pigs wandering around. So I've got two oak doors and they could be any doors. I could put any door in here and get all of these lovely things. What I want, do I have to put two in or can I put one in? I think that's a spiked iron gate. I suspect I need two. Yeah, I need two. Where'd it go? Why did that just vanish? Sometimes it does this. You break them and they vanish. Oh, it was a wooden door. I should have broken it with an axe. I just destroyed it. Uh, that's the other trouble. Remembering what things are made out of so you break them with the right tools. All right, let's see if I can get this right this time. Ta-da! Okay, I've taken the coordinates of that. So the next thing I need to do is swim to Callus's one more time, get into the nether, and set up a portal at the other end. Oh, I've got to light this one. Oh, it helps if I remember everything. There we are, one horrible, disgusting, intestine-y, wormy, veiny, brainy portal. Blah. I'm off into the nether. I'll see you there. All right, I'm in here. I've thought about what to do. I could go along here. That goes down to Callus's. And then just head off from there. But uh, we've been talking about what to do about the nether hub. And this is our southern kingdom nether hub. Oh, that goes up to the roof. And the consensus seems to be tunnels off in the four cardinal directions and then our personal tunnels coming off that. So I thought in the spirit of that, I'm going to dig my tunnel the length 
plus I had a look down at calluses and I'm gonna to have to dig out over a lava lake and if I can put that off I'm gonna put that off I think that goes down to clout osses I'm not sure but 870 and 871 so we're gonna dig that all the way out to minus 371 I think so unless I get burnt up by lava I'll see you when I get to the right spot and that's a handy trick that I got from Gobspit don't try and block and madly get lava everywhere just dig a little hole give the lava somewhere to go and then you can deal with it without worrying about anything Oh, that's a bit of a concern. Did you see that? It came in right under me. Oh, yeah. <sighs> All right, I'm putting in a portal. It is only temporary because I'm gonna make this into a whole nice room and well, as nice as it can be in the nether but I will at least have something that hopefully connects to my base. All right, here we go. This is just gonna be your bog standard portal. And, all right, fingers crossed, moment of truth. Please connect, please connect, please connect. Yeah, it connects me sideways, but <laughs> I'm here. I'm here. I'm happy. <laughs> All right, I got a lot of resource gathering to do because I've got to fix this up. There's end cards on the screen to some more interesting things than just digging for resources. I'll see you next time. Bye. And haha, ha, that's doing the trick. Sucks to be you, you're stuck.